Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I am super excited because y'all have been asking for this one. Today, I'm taking you along to a live appointment with a seller. We'll take you through the house, what we see and what we watch out for, and how I talk to the seller to see if it's a deal for us or not. Afterwards, I take you along Flip for Charity that my investing group, Springboard to Wealth, is working on. Our coach, Thatch Nguyen, partnered with the Rave Foundation here in Seattle to flip a house and donate all of the proceeds to Rave, who are building 26 soccer by 2026 for underprivileged youth all around Seattle and Washington in time for the 2026 World Cup. It's a great cause. We've been working with them for over a year now, fundraising and doing projects. So it's been an amazing thing to be a part of. I'm a huge believer that while we're making money, it's important to give back and do good for our community. So stick around to see Thatch give a tour of the house and talk about the project. Hope you enjoy this one. Please drop a like and subscribe if you do, and let's get into it. are doing something very fun today. This morning, we are heading out to do a live seller appointment. So one of the guys on my team, Nan, he hustles every day on the phones, calling people looking for sellers. He called me up, he was like, man, I've got this house. Can you come with me? He's got it rented, couple things here and there that he might need help on. Of course, the team leader that I am. I'm going up there with him to talk to the seller and see how we can help. Basically, this house is owned by this guy who's had it literally forever. The house was built in 1911. He's not sure of the value of the house, so we did our homework, pulled some comparable properties in that area, and we're gonna bring it to share with him to show him what it's worth right now, what it would be worth if he did repairs. Based on the Google Street View, it was pretty rough on the outside. We haven't seen the inside yet. All of the numbers are pretty much gonna depend on what the condition is on the inside of the house. So this one in particular, we're looking at a $1.1 million ARV. And every time we go into an appointment, the way we operate as investor and realtors, we offer them the cash offer option. If they don't wanna go to the market and that's all a big hassle to them, they don't wanna pay realtors or pay to make any repairs or deal with negotiation. So for us as investors, the house is gonna be worth 70% of the ARV, which in this case is 1.1 million minus rehab costs. So I don't know what one point what 70% of 1.1 is off the top of my head. So 770 minus rehab. If we're assuming the worst for this square footage, it's usually like 100 to 150 in rehab. That brings us to like six to 650. Basically, we just pull comparable properties on the MLS, which is a resource that realtors use. You can also use things like property radar if you're unlicensed, and I'll use it sometimes to see through county records or whatever. And as realtors, in this situation where he's not sure what it's worth and wants to know all his options, we're also gonna let him know what he can get by listing the property. In this case, assuming the worst, we saw maybe about seven to 750 is what he could get on the market, but then he would have to pay about 8% to sell. All our job is in these situations is to provide the information and listen to them and let them make the decision and then do our best job for them based on what they choose. So the way these appointments typically go is we walk through the house with the seller, we take notes of what needs improving, the floors, the windows, the trim, the doors, then we'll ask the seller a bunch of questions about how long they've owned it, what issues have they had during their ownership, and what their plans and goals are with the property. <laughs> I've never seen a house with a turtle in the tank. Yeah. So we'll just take a quick walk through here. Yeah, Dining sure. room. You got Mason, more. Mason at work? You think I should have gone? No, I, I don't know how you would feel about it. This is all cool stuff. I'm a scuba diver, so I love the ocean stuff. Yeah, this floor is tote. It, uh, <laughs> I put this wood floor in here many years ago. Uh, The guy that we bought the house from, but you can see where the, the rainwater leaked on that roof, side over there. The guy that owns it is, lives in the next house. He seal coated the, the uh, basement down there, cement slab, just like this, and the head clearance does not meet code. The guy that owns this house now lives in the next house over. He's going to move out of that house and move into this house that he, that oh, he wow. just finished. Nice. This is our first picture when Grandma and I bought this house. No way. This is oh, first. wow. 
first picture that we ever had. I want to take it from the <laughs> house out over to the outside of the house, which should be in that wall. If you want to see this space, I'll go get a flashlight from the room. That's a, we got a flashlight on our phone. Oh, okay. Remember roughly how old? Oh. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Let's see where are we at. This is the east side. Pretty extensive rehab here, but I will say that it seems like it's really important to him to preserve the house. Mm -hmm. Like he was asking about all the small things, like the cabinet door, the wall behind her. So it seems like he wants it to stay. Overall, we just need to be pretty respectful of, of that. You know, instead of being like, oh, we're gonna tear this out and right. totally replace this. Kind of go through the options. Like we could list it and have someone come in and make it their own. Or if he wants the easy way, then yeah, provide him that option. We'll just be really general about like, yeah, we'll just fix it up and then sell it or rent it. I, got, I do have an offer for a million. Is that off the internet or because of what these have been selling for? Uh, let's see. I've got comparables and I can get all that information for you. I've made quite a few of your types <laughs> in the mail. Yeah. Not face to face. Oh, okay. So you have an offer for a million dollars. I would take that right away, honestly. I think so? Yeah, for sure. So, pretty solid appointment. Basically, our conclusion here is uh, he's fairly attached to the house. He wants to sell it, but he has like emotional ties where he probably wants to make sure it goes to like a good person. Someone that's going to respect like the history of it and that he's owned it for so long and that he's kept it in good shape. And he's got so many people making offers that I think it's just really confusing and he's kind of lost. Pretty elderly. So what we're doing is we're gonna write a letter and basically offer all the options. So we're gonna outline our offer and what that would look like with us, how he wouldn't have to do any repairs, obviously no fees, what it would look like if he listed it, what he could get if he made certain repairs, etc. And then we're gonna go through those and just send that off to him. It could turn into something, could not, but not really attached to the outcome. A grande ice soy chai, only two pumps of chai and a shot of espresso. A few moments later. Um, next, I'm actually super psyched. I'm heading over to the flip that my investing group, Springboard to Wealth, is working on and flipping for charity. So I joined this coaching program like two and a half years ago now, and they basically have taught me everything I know about wholesaling and burr. This is with Thatch Win. He is the leader, and they basically decided to help out this charity rave that is building public soccer fields here in Seattle for the underprivileged youth so that they have a place to play. And a few months ago, they bought this fixer house and have been flipping it to donate all of the proceeds to rave. Well, they even got like 90% of the labor and materials donated. So super cool. It's here in Kirkland, Washington. We're going to go check it out. That's dope, yeah. Let's get the tour, Thatch. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta see my beautiful steps. Okay? <laughs> we got the folding steps. Okay, okay. We got the nice metal railings. Yep, yep. We got the beautiful chandelier. We got all brand new windows, new doors. Look at that. Open up the whole kitchen. Oh my god. That's amazing. We have the original fireplace brick because we don't want to get rid of it. This is the, the, we want to do this theme as a mid-century modern look. We kept this. We kept this original. We painted it and we made this piece and stained it to match the floor. Very nice. And then we have the new Fireplace. Um, put in. I just want to pause and take a second to shout out Springboard to Wealth. I have been a part of this group for almost two years and since joining I have leveled up in my money, my mindset, and I've made great connections with the coaches and other members that are truly priceless. No matter what your background is, whether you have real estate experience or not, Springboard sets you up to be successful in real estate investing and teaches the value of long-term wealth through owning rental properties. 
complemented by flipping and wholesaling. So when you join Springboard, you get access to a set of modules that deep dive into the A to Z of investing, and they cover how to wholesale, how to flip, how to analyze deals, how to talk to sellers, I could go on and on. And then you get live weekly calls with Thatch and the other coaches to learn new relevant topics and get the chance to ask your questions live. It's an amazing program at a great value. There really is no retirement plan in being a realtor or a wholesaler or a flipper. And even for me at a young age, I want the option to work or not work at some point. So being in this group and learning how to set myself up for life and create that wealth using the Burr strategy has been a game changer. If you're curious about Springboard or joining the program, check out the link below. You can even request a call with me to see if the program might be right for you. Just want to drop that shout out, check out Springboard. Let's get back to the video. Nice. nice. Our, um, uh, our friend donated all these, right? On the... Right? <laughs> Yeah, the scene, the quality. All new synth, all new camera, and everything. Don't ever. All right, buyers, come, come through, on, come, come through. So funny when we talked to um Joan from Auto Appliance, she's like, "Dude, we didn't even finish." He's like, "Done. You can have it." Yeah. The key is you gotta make sure you're posting, right? At least sixty, at least probably, you know, on your Instagram. That's what a lot of people is. TikTok is different, you know yeah. what I mean? But Instagram is where the young people do business. TikTok is more... To go to the masses. Yeah, to go to the masses. But the masses... They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Not really a niche, you mm. know what I mean? It's not focused. Yeah, not focused. Yeah. Solid day. We got to see a house and then check up on the rave flip. You know, things like this make me really sit back and be like... Wow, this is my life. I'm always super grateful to the opportunities laid in front of me and the action I've taken over the last four years. I've been in this industry and the experience I get to have really, really gets me going. I so appreciate what I get to do and all the people who message me and tell me how my content has helped them get into real estate, start walking the path and create results for themselves. So special thank you today to you for following along my little journey and watching my vlog. Let me know what I can do to keep helping you, what you'd like to see next. And with all that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.